everybody. Thank you for tuning back into my channel. This is Anthony from Clardioscope. Uh, welcome back. Uh, today I got a little uh, small cover girl haul from uh, CVS. It was on sale not too long ago. I found a couple of new things I hadn't seen before. So I wanted to pick it up. Uh, I'll link down below my previous cover girl haul just in case you want to see what else I picked up last time I was there. Um, but without further ado, let's get down to it and see what I picked up this First time. First thing I saw when I went in there is the new CoverGirl display for the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Luminous. This is the number 810 Classic Ivory. As you know, my wife is the lightest color. I'm pretty sure she was 805 in the other 3-in-1, but uh, this is what they had. And I was so excited to see it, and the display was so picked over, I got two. Because apparently in Hawaii, people are not this color. But... That's not a problem because more for me. More for me. Well, not from he, but, you know, more for me. Next thing I picked up while I was looking at this display is the CoverGirl Outlast All Day Primer. God forbid I get the new foundation and not the primer. You know, that's the thing is there are so, so many primers. And I know she has her Holy Grail primers, but theoretically, you should always try out these new foundations with the primer that goes with it. Um, I don't know why. I'm just saying that. I don't know if that's actually true or not, but... I like to always pick up the primers that go with it. Always. As I was looking at the display, I found these Outlast Longwear uh, Plus Moisture lipsticks. These new ones. Or these new colors. These are not new lipsticks. I know there's a display of those that I may or may not have picked up some from last time. Uh, this first color is, uh, oh, it says on the bottom, 925. This is the color Red. Red Rouge. That's ironic, isn't it? Red Rouge. Red Red. Rouge Rouge. Okay. Uh, these are those ones that are Oh, I smushed it already. Son of a gun. This is the color red. Red rouge. Uh, these are the ones that don't quite twist all the way down. You know what I'm talking about. You twist it all the way down. Doesn't quite go. And you see what I've done. I managed to smush a little bit on the top there. Um, unless you're some kind of <coughs> acrobat or, you know, you know, Tetris Jenga master. It's going to happen. I'm just telling you right now. It's going to happen. I'm not happy that I did that. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, at least they did on the first one, so I can watch out for the next ones, but uh, that's unfortunate. Anyway, this is 925 Red Rouge, Red Rouge, right there. Um, okay, the second color, after cleaning that whole big mess up, and hopefully I haven't got red all over everything in sight, is this one, 905. This one is Pink Pow. Let's not smash this one all over the cover, as I did with that one. Like I said, I can be a Jenga master, why not? Okay. This is the color, Pink Pow, right there. Oh, that's not a good way of showing it. There we go. Pink Pow. Oh, let's not get some light shining on there. Pink Pow? No, there's no real good way of showing it, is there? I mean, really is no good way of showing it. Pink Pow, right there. You'll get the idea. It's pretty close. Pink Pow. Could I say Pink Pow any more times? I'm going to really concentrate on putting this cover back on without killing this, because I don't want a Pink Pow. Gotcha. Okay. Next color I saw here is number 900, 900 in the Longwear Moisture one. This is Phantom Pink. Let me uh, take my time and do that one. Phantom Pink. This is the, ooh, twist that up. That's a good way of showing it. Phantom Pink. There you go. That is the color right there. Phantom Pink, number 900. That is a new color. And once again, like I said, see, that's the thing. They just don't quite go all the way down. I don't know if that's one of their things. And they kind of shake around a little bit. So. It's kind of a game for everyone, I think. Um, I know my wife's going to smash the crap out of this thing the first time she does it, so I don't want to be the one to do that. Next color I have here is 920 Red Revenge. Red Revenge right here. Ooh, that's pretty. It's kind of an orangey red right here. Very nice. Very pretty. Yeah, it's definitely an orangey red. This one, like I said, is Red Revenge. Very nice. And once again, Jenga. Jenga. No, let's not do that because I'm going to smash it. That would suck. A lot. Uh, the fifth color I saw on there, I think there's only five new colors on that whole display. I know there's ten pieces total. And for some reason, CoverGirl always does that where they only give you like two pieces of each in that tiny little display. I'm sure you've seen it at your local Walgreens or CVS. This one is Magnetic Mauve. Magnetic Mauve. Uh, this is number 945. Magnetic Mauve right there. 945 Magnetic Mauve. That's a really beautiful, light, mauve color. I'm sure it is quite opaque. As Like I said, when I smashed my red onto this paper towel, uh, it's pretty opaque. These colors are really good. They do last because it's not coming off my fingers. So, um, good stuff. Let's get down to it. All right. 
Uh, next thing I picked up is actually not a new, new thing. It's a new thing for me because I thought I picked it up previously, but I hadn't. This is the True Blend, CoverGirl True Blend. Uh, this is in L1 Ivory. The True Blend in L1 Ivory. This is the liquid one that I just recently picked up. Like I said, I thought I picked it up previously. Apparently I had not. And the True Blend powder in the L1 through 4, which is this color, uh, which I believe is the color something. The color something. Better be the color something. This is the Translucent Fair. There you go. That sounds like a good description of my wife. Translucent Fair in the CoverGirl uh, L1 through 4 right here. Um, for some reason, I did not see the pencils. Um, I did not see a good selection of the pencils. Most of them, people had just twisted them until they smashed up in the cap. Um, I'm not buying those. No matter how much they're on sale. Not buying them. Next thing I saw while I was looking at this display, oop, everything falling over here. Um, next thing I saw while I was looking at this display was these new CoverGirl eye quads. Uh, this is the eyeshadow color in number 705. Go for the gold. Uh, I like this new eye quad uh, design right here. Go for the gold, which has a good gold color, a copper, a bronzy color, and this like taupey, metallic taupey color at the end here. Um, it's really nice. Well, it looks like a metallic topi. It could be just a shimmery topi. Not sure. My wife will figure it out when she opens it up. Next one here is the 710 Vav Va Violets, which are several different violet colors right here. Several different violet colors. That's really super nice. Very pretty violet colors. I think you will definitely like that. I'm honestly not sure how many of these there were in the collection because I only got four because there are only four left. Um, let me know down below if you actually know how many there were because uh, I just picked up the ones I saw. Next one here is 725. This is a Breathtaking Blues. 725, Breathtaking Blues. Right there. These are all beautiful shimmery colors. Um, metallic colors. I know my wife definitely likes those. Those are some of her favorite colors, especially these darker, more opaque colors, especially the purples and blues. The final color I saw on this one is number 715, Stunning Smokies. Stunning Smokies. I know there's one matte color in here. This kind of grayish color is a matte color that I can see. Um, but that's really, really nice. Very, very pretty. Uh, Stunning Smokies, number 715. Very nice. And like I said, it's just a better setup than those other uh, CoverGirl ones. And they're kind of similar to the Maybelline ones. But uh, we'll see how this little swoopy thing works and if it's actually easier for her to use. Finally, the last thing I saw on display, which I was like, oh, I should pick up one or two of these because, you know, they're new. Why not? Just one or two. Who am I kidding? You know I can't pick up one or two of anything. That's just not how I do it. They're these new uh, lip lavas, CoverGirl lip lavas. They look like this, uh, the lip lavas. They're, this is a beautiful color. This is 850. Look, it's lava, which is this beautiful metallic uh, bright metallic Barbie pinky color. I don't know if that does it any justice, but it's like a Barbie pink. It's beautiful. These are lip lavas. It's kind of a shimmery finish hybrid lip glossy thing, I think. You know, I gotta be honest with you. I do collect a lot of makeup for my wife. I do buy a lot of things. Not always sure what they are, but when they say new, must buy, must pick it up. Can't help myself. I know you guys do it too. You see it there, you're like, it's new. Let's get a couple colors. And 10 colors later, you're like, don't even know what it does. But, Lip Lava. Okay, on to the second color. This one is 840. This one is Ooh La Lava. Ooh La Lava. Okay, uh, light pink with, I believe, gold shimmer in it. Look at that. That's a beaut, isn't it? Look at that. Can't go through every description of every color because some of them are pretty self-explanatory. Next one here is 880 Lava Glow. This is uh, a gold. Oh, let's not cut the tag in there because you can't really see what the color is. This is a gold color right there with the metallic gold. That's another beautiful one. Next one here is number 800 Lava Luster. Lava Luster. Look at that. That's a light pinky color. Peachy pink color I should say with uh, kind of uh, iridescent glitter in it. Don't know if this is doing it any justice or if the lights are helping at all. But this is another really really beautiful color. Next one we have here is one that you can definitely see. This is called Lavander. I'm not even going to go into that. Uh, which is this purple color with the gold flecks in it. Lavender. Yes, it looks much more purple in the uh, viewfinder than it does in real life probably. 
Next color I have here is 870 Mava Lava. Which would make you think it's a mauve color, but it's not a mauve color. It's kind of a reddish color. Uh, definitely not a mauve, but you know, mauve lava. Makes sense. Everything's got to be a lava. Ooh la, lip lava. Lava. You say lava enough times, it just doesn't sound like a real word anymore. Say it with me. Lava. 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 I live in Hawaii. There's a volcano. There's lots of lava, but you still say enough times doesn't make it doesn't even mean it's a word. Okay, enough of that. Let's get on to the next color. This one is number 820, mango lava. See, that just makes sense. Mango lava. It's a nice mango color. Um, it's not really a mango color if you think about it. If you see a mango this color, don't eat it. It's too ripe. It'll be gross. Okay, orange is basically what it is. Mango lava with these iridescent um, and some goldy flecks in it. But that's more of an orangey color. Very nice. Uh, next color I have here is number 830, Live Love Lava. I'm telling you, you say lava enough times, it doesn't mean anything, it's not even a word anymore. Okay, Live Love Lava, which is more of this reddish, there's a bubble in it. Uh, reddish lava color, lava color, reddish color is what I'm trying to say with the iridescent flecks in it. Very, very nice. The final color I saw in here is number 810, it is Lychee Lava which is this beautiful light pink with the gold and iridescent flecks in it. Um, that's a beautiful lip gloss either way. Any way to use it, if you use it over lipstick, if you use it plain like that, that is a very, very nice color. Um, I suggest if you see these, if they're testers, definitely test these out in the store, see what works for you. I don't suggest buying every single one. I'm one of those that picks up coupons all along the way, Sunday paper, online, look for discounts, look for sales. Uh, these were actually all 30% off, I believe, plus the coupons from the Sunday paper. So um, they were much, much cheaper than they were supposed to be, which is why I ended up getting all of them. So that is what I picked up from CoverGirl. I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching this. If there are other things that you've seen out there that I should be picking up from CoverGirl also, please uh, write it down below in the comments. You can also get in touch with me on Instagram or Twitter at Clardioscope. Also on Facebook at Claudioscope Anthony Collard. Um, or you could write me a good old fashioned letter like uh, some people do. I do have a P.O. box, it's also listed down below. Uh, you can write to me anytime. I do love being getting or love getting in touch with you guys. I really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to like this video if you do in fact like these types of videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. Subscribe down below or above. I'm not really sure. It depends what kind of device you're using right now. Also, thank you so very much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. I love you guys more than I could possibly say. Don't forget, uh, soon enough, I will be doing a Q&A. So if you do have any questions, don't forget to list those down below. Also, I'll see if I can get to those uh, when I finally get around to doing it. Thank you so much. I love you guys more than I could possibly say. You guys have a wonderful day. I'll be seeing you real soon. Take care now. <music>